Okay, this is a video for the Oculus Hut website at www.oculushut.com where I, I run a blog that is focused on the Oculus Rift. Thought it'd be pretty cool if we could get, you know, the dinosaur here into one of our games. And so, I mean, I'm, I'm not close to getting the game completed yet, but I thought it'd be interesting to test out the pipeline. So what I'm using is a um, the Xbox 360 Connect. Um, it's just plugged into my PC, which is running Windows 7. So if you want to try this yourself, you have to go to the Microsoft website and uh, download the latest SDK and also the uh, developer toolkit. So I've got the URL there, URL, um, there on, the, on the screen. If you want to go there, get it yourself. Once you've downloaded and installed the SDK and toolkits, what you'll find is that there's a toolkit browser um, and from there you can download all sorts of samples. So for example, if you click on the C Sharp samples here, you can uh, download a Connect Fusion Explorer uh, and just install that and it'll give you a project uh, for Connect Fusion Explorer um, which will run the Connect. So as you can see, uh, you get this folder. Um, just start with a solution file and um, choose C Sharp. So I'm, I'm using um, uh, Visual Studio Express, which is free. And once you, you open the project file up, you just start the app and you immediately get a preview of uh, 3D capture. Um, so here you've got my desk um, and there is a bit of messing around here actually if you whatever you want to capture uh, and you eventually uh, well I, I eventually got hold of the um, I can't remember now it's STL or object file um, so there you can see I've scanned Dino in and uh, got a 3D mesh for, for Dino. So once I got a 3D mesh what I then did was I uh, imported um, Dino's model into Maya and I actually put him on top of uh, some styrofoam because I watched a video that showed that I need to get to the areas that might be occluded. Um, as, as you can see there's it's pretty it's quite a messy um, I guess it's uh, the world is messy so it's, it's quite a messy mesh there's quite a lot of detail in there and it's kind of much too complicated I guess for a game. So what I then did was um, I, I kind of cut Dino away from his styrofoam plinth um, so that and, and, and I try, started trying to simplify him. It's almost like cutting out components from an Airfix model. Okay and then, then I had to, after simplifying the mesh I still needed to remove all sorts of odd uh, artifacts and I'm sure I'm sure somebody who's uh, more experienced with Maya um, will be able to, will, would be able to do this very quickly for, for me. So um, all this is kind of a learning experience. Um, and it took quite a bit of time actually to tidy the model up. It, it's still quite a messy model, but uh, for my purposes, I just wanted to check check if the pipeline worked, and it was just, just a bit of fun anyway. Once I had Dino tidied up, I then uh, proceeded to colour him as quickly as possible, and um, I just used the 3D paint tool in Maya. Um, and as you can see, I've kind of textured him very realistically there, uh, so it looks just like he is in uh, real life. Then I, I kind of put some kind of basic uh, rigging on him in Maya, um, just so that I can move him around. Um, as you can see, I've put some some basic controls. It kind it kind of works. Uh, I played with around with the bits, the skin a little bit, um, but I didn't spend too much time on it because it, it took me quite a lot of time even to do this with my uh, limited skills. Okay, so after after more messing around. Um, I then eventually gave you know a fairly basic uh, animation, and then I I managed to import him into UDK. However, you can see there's a uh, some kind of odd. He look kind of looks like the predator, um, which is not a good look, uh, and it wasn't the look I I was after. But anyway, it was really good to see to see him kind of in UDK. I eventually um, got Dino working a little bit better. Um, I. I uh, note to anybody else who's doing this, but the polygons um, were actually facing the wrong way round, um, and so I, I flipped them over, and suddenly Dino was um, a solid, solid object. But I still had had problems with the textures. Uh, after fiddling around even more, I eventually got the textures uh, onto Dino, and I'm sure there's a there's a better way of doing this. I'm sure uh, there's some kind of fundamental. Um, fundamental mistake I made. But anyway, I, I, was, I was quite pleased that I actually found a way to muddle through. And as you can see in my last video, um, this is uh, Dino after um, his uh, full paint job uh, in UDK. Um, and yeah, here it is. So thanks for watching. Do visit the, uh, the blog if you have time, uh, www.oculushut.com.